The next step in our framing project here uh, will be to add studs to our uh, 3D model. I'm going to turn off the shadow mode to keep the software running smoothly and grab the rectangle tool, zoom in, click and drag a rectangle, and then enter the values in on the keyboard which will give us an inch and a half by three and a half inch rectangle. Again, I'm entering decimals rather than slashes and fractions. Same result, quicker process. This little rectangle that we have here, uh, just turn that into a component. And we'll call it two by four. Create a component just like that with the move tool. Oops. The move tool also morphs into a rotate tool, which we didn't want in this instance. Go back, it keeps jumping into the rotate mode, which I don't want. Just want to slide this rectangle over to the corner. I'm going to hit the control key, which adds a little plus next to the move cursor. You can see it here. That means we want to do more than one instance of this. It'll copy it and uh, and move the uh, the copy. Slide this along an arbitrary amount and then tell it we want to go 16 inches and then we want to um, make enough of these to frame the whole wall so to speak and by typing 12x you can see the uh, that shows up in the value control box and it creates 12 duplicate instances of that stud we created. They're all laid out here 16 inches apart and I'm not getting real official with the framing here to make a plywood layout etc by moving the first stud 15 and a quarter inches or any of that. But here's the move copy tool. We'll put this stud where, uh, where it works on the corner there and then Let's go ahead and make these studs the length we want them. I've double clicked the stud component to enter into the edit mode. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to go in 92 and 5 eighths. And you can see with that that all these studs, every instance of that stud component has been uh, modified the exact same way, all the identical length and on the layout we chose. And then by selecting all these components and choosing this light wood grain, we can make all of our 2x4s look like 2x4s. Simple as that. If we turn on the shadow feature again you can get an idea it gives a little better 3d perspective of what we're creating here as far as a a framed shed